Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in my garden here where I am in the UK. So, um, I was going to actually the plan for this vlog was to show you the um the spring bulbs that have now starting to come out of uh, around my garden now what i was going to do was actually initially i was going to get some compost from my compost bin okay now after i opened the lid i don't know if you can see it in the background can you see all the worms so then i decided actually perhaps this is a good idea to um show you how my compost bin is doing at the moment so um just a warning a friendly warning if you don't like worms if you have a problem or if you are scared or have phobias seeing worms or anything that you know crows and wiggles please stop now and don't proceed and watch my video unfortunately this one is going to be quite um a close-up uh video or vlog showing you how my compost bin is doing at the moment so we are in a uh, uh, middle of january uh, 2024 and this compost bin is actually i would say five years old um or was it four something like that i would say around five years old when i started this compost bin and this is how it looks now so i'm going to take you around and show you how it looks so i hope you're all well i hope you'll enjoy this vlog again so come and join me i don't know if you can see so my first plan was actually i was just going to add this you know to my compost bin because these are all cuttings from um <laughs> we have some baby seagulls around um so they are very excited at the moment so i was going to add this to my compost bin okay so i will need to change the angle of my camera to show you how i'm going to do this but before that i think perhaps i'll show you right now how my compost bin looks like so i'm going to move my camera now okay and see and show you how it is there you go this is how it looks and the reason why these are all out is because I have already opened the lid a while ago and that's when I discovered how many worms I have here. Now, five years ago, I would be running away from this, screaming my head out because I used to be so scared of them, okay? But now that I started to, you know, learn their importance and actually to love them, because they are very, very, uh, they play a vital role here in my garden. Now I would say that I'm still <laughs> a bit, um, what what's the word? Uh, still scared by them if I'm not expecting them, you know, when they surprise me every time I open the lid of my bin. But I'm not as scared like I used to be. So actually, I'm as I said, I'm starting to love them now. So I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all these out okay and put them in my gardens around here but perhaps i might put them back here so actually i will need um do, 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 do. what do i need i have my fingers uh there we go so they'll just drop down there and then they'll find their way there in the ground Okay, so hopefully, oops, let me show you, hopefully, they will be finding their way back. So they are all there, tucked in. So they'll start crawling back in the ground and back to the compost bin, hopefully. But if the ber birds manage to find them, then so be it. That will give the birds some food as well anyway. I'm just going to push them down. Can you see? Five years ago, you... Well, you wouldn't see me doing this. I would be running around scared. Oops, there you go. Now, I'll see 
if I can show you actually how many worms I have here, okay? My compost bin at the moment is uh, already full. So hence, I need to harvest some uh, from the, the bottom, which I'll do later on. But this is how it looks. Okay, ready? Look how many. Look how many. Can you see how many we have? Oops. Oh, it's still falling. Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. I don't really want to put them all in the ground for the birds to eat. But look how many. There you go. That's how many I've got here. Okay, and I'll see if I can put it back. And then I'll set up my camera so that you can see the whole it's the whole frame of it with me. So bear with me a second. Okay, I hope you can see it better from that this angle. So start again. There it is. Mm. Have some of loads here. Look. Can you see? I think these ones I'll just have to put here on the ground for the birds. This is what I have here. Okay. This is how it is. Can you see? I zoomed it in closer, so hopefully you can see it better from this angle. Now, what I was going to do is, actually, if you can see this here, these are all shredded papers, okay? That actually I have managed to accumulate from my previous job. So I had loads of shredded papers, um, two bags of them actually, and I've used the full bag already, so I still have, I would say, half bag and i added these uh last week actually and this is how it looks so oh gosh look at this wow can you see this can you see how many that's how they are here can you see so what I've done here, I have, as you can see, some kitchen scraps, um, some 100% cotton um, underwears that I have shredded into pieces once they uh, are no longer usable. So that's how I get rid of most of my clothes here because most of my clothes are 100% cotton. And so what I just do is literally I just cut them into small pieces and then I add them in my um, compost bin. And I've already put um, uh, a pair of jeans as well in this compost. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video of that to show you. But as you can see, look. That's a material. But it's 100% cotton, okay? So that's fine. As long as you just cut it into small strips, it should be okay. And as you can see, I have some eggs, eggshells here. Some cuttings from my garden. And what I do, I just literally, I always try when I add them to add um, equal amounts of whatever I put in my compost bin. I always put equal amounts. So equal, equal amounts of uh, carbon or nitrogen and um, what's the other one? The green bits and the brown bits as well. So apologies if, if my terminology is not 100% perfect. As I said, I've started it, this five years ago, I think more more or less five years ago when I didn't know um, really all about com composting. And um, it was only just recently that actually I've learned more about it fully. So I just started it because I just wanted to, um, you know, give it a go because I found we were throwing loads of garden waste or sorry, kitchen waste. And... Um, it wasn't getting uh, composted. It was uh, getting collected by the um, rubbish collector here. But I thought it might be, it. it's better if I do it here in my garden and um, earn the benefits. So, this is the one. 
that I meant to add here. See? So these ones are in my shed, sitting in my shed, you know, um, drying, drying out. But I need to use this tray, you see, because I'm going to show you how I am going to take some allium bulbs that actually have been growing, multiplying in my garden um, like mad. I'm just going to add that there. And I have some kitchen scraps uh, that I need to add here. But as you can see, it's loaded here at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest some of the compost from the bottom. So hopefully that will uh, free up some space for me to add some more raw materials here to be composted. And this won't be ready straight away. I would say probably this here at the top will be ready around middle summer. It depends how uh, warm it gets here and how fast, you know, all my little friends work inside this compost bin. But I have already some down there that are ready to be used, which I'll show you in a minute. That's how it is. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to place this lid back on this um compost bin and see we still have some worms here so what i'm just literally going to do is shake this out on the ground i don't think you can see what i'm doing here but i'm just going to describe them to you so i'm just going to shake this lid here so that some of the worms are now on the ground for the birds you know to snack on now let me show you hopefully i can show you through this video how it is here um how the compost the ready compost for me to be used uh look like so if you think it's fair with me i just need to prep around this area go get rid of this and this wooden plank and okay you ready so literally it's going to push it Ooh. oh no what happened i got stuck um right Okay. Right, so push it up, pull it out, and ta da! <laughs> That's how it is. So, all those um, garden scraps that you can see from the top, the one that I've showed you earlier. So this is what happens once they are ready and once they've been properly um, composted. By our little friends here inside my compost bin. You see, I slot this in. Whoa, look at this. Now, don't worry about the eggshells, okay? Because what I have done, I have been so lazy. I wasn't um, grinding them properly every time I put the eggshells in here. But these are okay. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, there's a little friend. A little friend. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. I need to check my video and see that actually I um, it recorded it okay so that you can see it as close as possible so you can see what it looks, you know, hopefully as close as how it is in reality. 
the chest. So that's how it is close up. And I'll show you one last time how it is. Okay. So see if I can scoop another amount of compost here <laughs> to show you. Look at this. Can you see that? So literally, I got this. You know, the ones that I've showed you, as I said, from the top. Can you believe this is how they are now? Six months and a bit after. Look at this. How rich. It's beautiful. Look at this. So pleased. Okay, I think I've showed you close enough how it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to harvest as much as I can that are ready to be used here so that I can dress some of my roses and I haven't done them um, during the was it two weeks two weeks ago or three weeks ago when I did the first um, pruning but I'm going to need to do the final pruning around my roses around late February, middle Feb or late February. And I'll share that with you once I, um, I'm doing that project. I'll share it in my channel as well just to show you. But that's how it is here. Okay? Okay. So this is what I'm going to, how I'm going to get the rest of the compost that are already here so i would say this compost scooper or scoop is no longer um, wise to use for this occasion so what i'm going to do actually now is i'll use the fork okay to make the job quicker The only thing I find in this one is when I do this, it's such a hard work. Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing um, something here. Maybe I'm doing this. Um, I'm making this hard for myself. Please let me know if there's a better way on how I can harvest the compost from the bottom. But I thought this is how you would normally harvest it. But it probably, there's a way, an easier way to do it. So please let me know, if you happen to know. Okay. There's still more in here.
I'm just trying my best to get as much as the ones right at the bottom so that hopefully we can get these here the ones higher up you know they can then go down I will push them down later or you know help them to um, what's the word collapse on the bottom again at the bottom so that they can then start composting as well so hopefully as I said around summer they will be ready to be used or around April perhaps See that? Okay. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up. And then I'll carry on harvesting some more. I probably won't include that in my video in this vlog because it might make it so long again for you to watch. So I'll just show you some more until I fill this up. And then I can then carry on with my original plan for today which was to show you um, around how my spring bulbs are doing here in my garden and also some of the alliums that I'm I'm just about to um, get some of the bulbs to share to my next door neighbor I'll show you that in a minute but I'll probably put that in a separate vlog, separate video so that it won't be too too long for you to watch all of it all together think we've got enough here probably do one last time some more big stone there you go I think I can stop it for now right let's put the leaves back on so that we don't lose too much heat from the compost and I'll come back later on and do this but as I said I don't think I'll include this part in this vlog because I think I've showed you enough um, you know just to share it with you how it looks here so let's put this back okay so, and let's put this piece of concrete heavy concrete to hold it tight if I can make it make it so okay brilliant there it is look at this I'll need to tidy this up and this one as well but this is what we have oh that's heavy that's very heavy actually this is what I have here there you go 